Hello guys and welcome back to a new episode of Italian Politician of the Week. I am Ipernik, the Great is Silent, and today we are talking about Sara Cunial, former member of the Five Star Movement, anti-vax parliamentarian and hardcore conspiracy theorist. Cunial is a unique anomaly in the Italian institutions. She is an attention-seeking psycho who comes up on the news from time to time to delight our lives. She has been trying to get an episode on the series for as long as I can remember. I am pretty sure she appeared in the first ever poll, you know, the one where Ignazio La Russa won. That video was great. Well, I am happy she didn't win back then because she has done a lot of wacky things in the past year, which I will try to cover throughout this episode. Without further ado, let's roll the intro. Cunial was born in 1979 in Rome, but she currently resides in a small town near Vicenza, in Veneto. Not a lot is known about her past political activities. She has a degree in industrial chemistry and has had a long history in the field of propagation of fake news. That's all we know. As I have stated many times before, when Grillo first founded the Five Star Movement, he had something completely different in mind from what it eventually became. The party was not not only deeply anti-establishment, but also anti-science, and Grillo used his notoriety and fame to bring many conspiracy theorists into the spotlight. By 2018, the Five Star Movement was a melting pot of individuals with different ideas, missions and beliefs. It had it all, while some of them were honest and experienced, others were opportunist, a bit too full of themselves or delusional. Among the 300-ish parliamentarians elected in 20. 2018, something like 80 of them changed sides and dispersed throughout the other areas, the majority of which went into the non-aligned mixed group, which counts about 67 people in the current legislature. It has never been this big, and that's what she said. Now I'm not saying that the mixed group is, is full of conspiracy theorists, the overall majority come from uh, small centrist parties such as Azione, Centrist Union and Plus Europe, as well as as other more ideological parties, such as the Greens and the Communist Refoundation. However, the biggest coalition in the section is the Alternative, a group of 15 Five Star Movement expatriates who were kicked out or left the party of their own initiative because they didn't approve their compliance to Draghi's government. The party is characterized by a moronic conspiratorial dialectic. Whenever something happens, they go out of their way to think about the most nonsensical suggestion and then accuse everyone of working against them when nobody responds. Like that one time they tried to open a parliamentary investigation on the real contents of covid vaccines when they can just google it. Now you would think that a party such as this one would be pleased to have Cunial among them, but the reality is that the goofiest group of parliamentarians doesn't want anything to do with her because their public image might suffer from it. You heard that right. Cunial is so crazy that they wouldn't even let her in the circus. So this begs the question, how crazy is she? Her long list of tomfooleries begins in January 2018. The elections were a few months away and Cunial was campaigning around the region, since she ran for the second Venetian electoral district. At some point she released a statement on vaccines, describing them as a tool of genocide by the big pharma, who wants to implement mass euthanasia on sickly children. One of the party's biggest struggles at the time was the Lawrence-in law, named after after the Minister of Healthcare Beatrice Lorenzen, which essentially made the vaccination mandatory to kids going to public schools. There were exponents of the party, such as Mayor of Rome Virginia Raggi and later Minister of Healthcare Giulia Grillo, who opposed the measure under the premise of liberty of choice, although that was often questioned. Cunial's statements put their rhetoric at risk and, and could put the movement under a bad light, so she was temporarily suspended. She 
was readmitted shortly after only under the condition that she was not going to have anything to do with vaccines when she entered parliament. But that happened anyway. Exactly one year later, Cunha Alvu was part of the Commission for Agriculture at the time, called for a press conference where she exposed the data gathered by the Veneto Regional Coordination for Freedom from Vaccination Association, Corvelva for short. Part of the evidence exposed was a series of accidents involving a few kids who had contracted tetanus after getting vaccinated. According to Cognal, the children had contracted the disease because there was rusted metal in the syringe, which totally makes sense. Similarly to the year prior, Julia Grillo, now Minister of Healthcare, condemned the conference alongside many other parliamentarians, such as Roberto Fico, Francesco Duva, Ana Grazia Calabria and Mara Carfagna, the former, who was president of the Chamber of Deputies, the third highest rank in the Republic, by the way, was formally asked by the National Order of Surgeons and Dentists to cancel the meeting, but nothing really came of it. The Democratic Party released a statement to the press prior to the event, which encouraged them to boycott the initiative, and a good portion of the media did. The ones who didn't failed to take her seriously and labeled her a lol cow. Cunial will officially leave the Five Star Movement on her own initiative after Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte passed a series of measures in order to fight the Xylella epidemic in Apulia, which at the time was heavily affecting its ecosystem, the regional economy and the olive oil market. Xylella, for those who don't know, is a bacterial infection that affects olive trees which was supposedly introduced in southern Italy in 2013, with the arrival of a bunch of infected plants from Costa Rica. The affected vegetation essentially is drained of its livelihood, and after the tree dies, the microorganisms just move on to the next tree through land. The European Union invested some funds in the implementation of regulatory measures to contain the infection, but Minister of Agriculture Maurizio Martina faced many obstacles in doing so, not only because the commissioner he had chosen revealed himself to be an incompetent crook, but also because many didn't believe the problem was real. Many movements came up which advocated for the idea that the bacteria was harmless and it was just an excuse for the European Union to cut down and burn their plantations, hence causing immense damage to the virgin oil markets. These conspiracies were in many ways legitimized by the Five Star Movement and even the local president Michele Emiliano, which worsened the situation even further. What forced Conte to do a U-turn was the sentence from the European Court of Justice, which fined Italy for its poor contributions to the issue. Cunial, who of course doesn't think Xylella is real, broke away from the movement in April 2019 in protest, alleging the fact that her party had betrayed the Italians by kneeling to the powerful. Her actions will get even more radical from here on. It should be no surprise for you to know now that Sara Cunial turned out to be quite a nuisance during the Covid pandemic. I'm sure most of you know what went down, so I don't really need to contextualize too much, but I will give you a list of her adventures. Cunial was caught and fined for breaking lockdown regulations multiple times, as well as spreading misinformation regarding face masks and how they are deadly or something. In May 2020 she made an opposition speech to a decree regarding the new rules, where she blabbered about about 5G's, world domination, GMOs, the new world order and even accused Giorgio Napolitano, our former president, of scheming everything. In 2021, Cunial was sued for sexual assault by a journalist who confronted her on her statements regarding face masks. The parliamentarian had tried to kiss him to prove everyone that Covid was not real, a truly horrifying experience. In August of that same year, she decided to move into a hotel in Trentino, which did not respect any of the state-imposed Covid safety measures. The establishment was going to be closed and fined, but Cunial thought that by making it her official residence she could stop the termination. She was wrong. The owner did a step back on his business decision and not only he started to respect the law, but he also kicked Cunial out. During an anti-vax rally, Cunial showed up wearing a motorbike helmet, stating that it was more likely for her to be hit by a meteor rather than catching covid so she came prepared. The most recent development of her saga is the speech she made in parliament a few weeks ago where she brought a bunch of garlic and told 
told everyone to stay away from her. Honestly, I'm not sure what was going through her mind at that moment. Maybe she really thinks she's surrounded by demons and vampires. I have no clue. Anyway, in November 2021, she also escorted a bunch of American agents to a prison in Salerno because they wanted to speak with an hacker who could have been involved in some shenanigans at the 2020 American elections. Something that is highly illegal. I don't know what's in store for Kunyal. I don't think she will be re-elected into parliament, at least not without a party like the Five Star Movement backing her up. But she does have a decent following. So far she has remained coherent to her ideas and convictions, so perhaps she has a huge following that we do not know about. I could not find anything about her Facebook followers before the termination, but it does seem that she attracted a lot of attention. She's far from the only conspiracy theorist in parliament. Paragone is a pretty good one that I have already talked about. The best way I can think of to conclude this video is to hope for the isolation of such individuals and that people stop being fucking stupid. Thank you all for watching, I will see you next week with a brand new video.